This is the next lesson in creating a times table quiz using spreadsheets. In the last lesson, we looked at how we could use the if function to actually create a condition that turns this cell into correct or wrong, depending on the right answer. We also looked at how we could hide a column. And you can open the column and you can right click and hide a column at any time. In this lesson, we're going to look at how we can make this blank if this one is blank. So let's look at our formula here. So what we want to do is we want to embed another if statement. So let's go up to the statement at the top here. If the cell F3, if that cell doesn't have anything in it, to indicate that you do a double quotes. So if F3 doesn't have anything in it, then if that condition is true, I want it to be blank. So we put double quotes again. If it's not true and there is something there, we want to do the other if statement. So we do comma and then at the end we do another bracket. So there's my function. So let's just do that again. If F3 is blank, then make G3 blank. If it's not blank, then carry out this condition. Let's press return. As you can see, this is not blank, so we get the right correct. But if we copy this down, now you can see, now you can see that if F7 is blank, this one is also blank. We can add some more things in here. So, so 5 times 13 is 65. That's correct. Let's do the next one, which is wrong. Let's say 56, and that's wrong. There we have now embedded our if statement into another if statement by using blanks. In the next lesson, we're going to look at how we can start formatting this spreadsheet so we can have a little bit of color inside it. We're going to use conditional formatting to do that. 